The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so number 12 is a typical word problem of the type you're going to see for this test. And this is one where we're going to have to use two equations to make uh, a parabola in terms of one variable. So a farmer has 100 feet of fencing available to build a rectangular area. He wants to separate the hens and roosters by dividing into two pens, find the largest possible total area of the two pens. So what you want to recognize is that you have two quantities here that you are dealing with in this problem. You have the area, which would just be length times width, given this picture. And we have 100 feet of fencing. Now, feet of fencing means the perimeter of all of that. Well, if you look at the picture, there's two L's and three W's on that because there's a, a one in the middle. So our 100 feet of fencing has to be 2L plus 3W. So these two equations are what you can make from the information given to you in the problem. So we want the largest possible area. We want A to be as big as possible. Well, writing it as L times W is not going to allow us to do that. However, we can solve for one of the variables and then use it that way. So let's solve for L in this equation. You could say 100 minus 3W equals 2L. And then 100 minus 3W over 2 is equal to L. We can plug that in here, and now we will have a parabola because we're going to have w times w eventually. So if we plug that in, our area equation is now 100 minus 3w over 2 times w. So I just replaced the l with what we substitute here. What I'm going to do is, first of all, Divide both of these by 2, so I don't have to keep writing it as a one big fraction. 50 minus 3 halves w times w. And if you distribute that w and write it in the normal order, negative 3 halves w squared plus 50w. So this is our area equation. Now it is a quadratic, it is a parabola, and it's only in terms of one variable, and that's what we need to get. Because now if you want to find the maximum of this, it's, you, it's easy to find the vertex of a parabola, which is definitely the maximum in this case. Because we have a negative in front, this is an upside down parabola, so the vertex is going to be our maximum. Remember that using the vertex formula, in this case, it gives you the w. It does not give you the area. So we're going to have to then plug it back in afterwards. But using the vertex formula, negative b is negative 50. a is negative 3 halves. So if we do 2 times negative 3 halves, you can see here that the 2's cancel out, the negatives cancel out. And the w that would give you maximum area is 50 over 3. So now we just need to plug this back in to find uh, the actual area. Let me erase this over here. A couple different ways we could do that, but let's use, actually I probably needed that equation. Let's use this equation. Because now that we know W, we can find L, and then area is L times W. Well, by plugging in 50 over 3, 3 times 50 over 3, is just 50. So we get that 2L has to equal 50, which means L equals 25. And then, of course, our area is length times width. So here we get 25 times 50 over 3. So if you multiply that out, you'll get uh, 
1250 over 3 as our total area, which is answer choice E here. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.